So, so I will start uh, to uh, bucket presentation. So, so first, uh, let me introduce the uh, artist uh, 2011 competition. Oh, this year, oh, we've held uh, two competitions. The first one is combat competition, and uh, in which uh, competing uh, compete the distance uh, from the target. And uh, the other one is mission competition, and in which uh, participants compete uh, mission concepts and apply the results and uh, presentation abilities. And the combat competition, you know, if uh, there are two or more teams uh, who reach within two, uh, 20 meters from the target, then the uh, ranking is determined by the average velocity from the landing point to uh, from the line uh, from the land point to the final reaching point. And the mission competition is uh, and consists of two reviews, you know, peer review and the presentation review. <coughs> we have already uh, done peer review in August, which evaluates uh, mission com mission concepts, and we will soon start a presentation review, which evaluates five results and uh, presentation abilities. And the final score is calculated by this equation. And uh, so we will soon start a uh, mission competition presentation review. So, so, uh, do, you, uh, do you have uh, this sheet? Uh, and please vote uh, one point or two point or three point for each team to evaluate uh, presentation results. And the total score will be calculated for every participant in the emotional competition. And not individuals, but each team can vote for the other teams. Do not vote for do not vote your own teams. So, uh, so let's start short presentations. And uh, now each team has three minutes. So presentation begins Kogoku University Council first. The program is how it's done. So. First, about our concept, our concept that is parabolic. Our mission is a private. This weight is 777 grams. This is a system diagram. The French arrow is the signal line. Red line is physical line. The first, SH2 receives the data from GPS. Then, SH2 calculates and Send signal to sub. Then sub control parabola. That's the time SE2 send GPS data controlling data to E pilot. E pilot memory this data. At last send the same data to ZP. ZP performs radio communication. Result of the first and second flight. The first flight and second flight is they did not get the control data. First flight program is <coughs> second flight is mistake. <coughs> Next of the two goal is the uh, bus flight 6.775 km, second flight 4.911 km. This is the result of the sun flight. The sun flight is against the control data. Range of two point eight point zero seven six kilometer.
Hello everyone. I'll talk about OPU sub. First, outline of our satellite. OPU sub is our original satellite. Its mission is demonstrate to demonstrate advanced its uh, electrical uh, power system. And in our study program. As our first step, we wanted demonstration basic bus systems. Obvious admission is like this. To confirm its performance, several missions were set in each subsystem. Next, I'll explain some results about command and data handling system mission, we try to get housekeeping data saved on SD card. GPS data is one of them. This figure shows our satellite flight course after, after launch. After launch, we lost all the data data from launch to landing. Next, about electrical power system mission, um, about electrical power system mission, we try to measure um, lithium ion capacitor voltage in discharge experiment. These, fig these figures show first and second flight data. We could realize lithium ion capacitor experiment, which is same, uh, which is the same as mission in after uh, outer space. About other results, we tried to several missions. For example. Send, send the uh, housekeeping data in Morse and deployment solar panel, solar panel, and more. As a result, all mission, uh, all minimum meet success and almost full success were complete, completed. <coughs> At last, thank you very much for. Thank you very much, Becky, David, James, Joseph, and uh, Elbert, everyone. That's all. Our mission consists of two missions. The first mission is to make microgravity. We make microgravity by free form. The second mission is to take high resolution pictures. Our cassette will carry medium format film and take pictures more than 1,100 mega, 1, megapixels. This is our cassette G set. Before the launch, GSAT has its stabilizers bedded in the carrier. After GSAT is ejected from the carrier, it will operate stabilizers and feel free fall for a few seconds. After that, parachute is extracted and it con continuously takes pictures. At this time, it takes high resolution pictures by synchronizing the terminal structure with angular velocity sensor. Our first launch 
bus, our first branch bus made by Jen. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first sprite Jesus didn't free fall. We set it to free fall for seven seconds, but the parachute was extracted soon after the ejection from the carrier. The cancer shutter was synchronized with gyro sensor and took higher solution pictures. Mark took challenge of our second flight. Thank you, Mark. At six have some trouble, so please wait for me. I always kiss my rockets before I fly. <laughs> I always kiss my before I fly. <laughs> <laughs> Today? <laughs> I thought you kissed somebody's hand. This didn't free fall. We set it to free fall for seven seconds. But the parachute was extracted soon after the ejection from the carrier. The camera shutter was synchronized with gyro sensor and took high resolution pictures. Mark took challenge of our second flight. Thank you, Mark. As the second flight, Jesus succeeded at free falling, but the parachute didn't extract it and crashed on the ground. Fortunately, the data was stored and camera's film was safe. Jisa took four pictures. <coughs> we were able to arrange additional flight by Eric. Thank you, Eric. At the third flight, Jisa succeeded at free falling and opened the pressure safely. The shutter was synchronized with the angular velocity sensor and took nine high resolution pictures. From the second and third angular velocity data, we found out that stabilizers were effective in stabilizing the body and controlling rolling, which avoids the body turns upside down. However, there was a vibration of about one hertz with angular velocity. From the second and third acceleration data, radial acceleration occurred more than that of flowing direction. Therefore, acceleration from rotation makes more distributions from that from air resistance. The figure shows our success degree. Success de degree. We were able to achieve minimum success as the third fight. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So, any questions? Don't you have any? Good morning, everyone. We are Chin Miu Miu from Tokyo Institute of Technologies. Now, first of all, I'd like to talk about our uh, cancer assistance. Um, there are two satellites. Huh? Is it okay? Uh, there are two satellites. As you can see, we are the main satellite and the target satellite. And they are connected to each other with the tether using hold mechanism during the launch. The most characteristic equipment is the Linux operation system on a PGA control system to deal with various complicated subsystems. <coughs> Moreover, to accomplish the directional shooting mission, the main satellite has two axis movable camera units and this enables taking pictures and movies or lower hemisphere areas. And this is the motion uh, mechanism. As you can see, the camera is moving and the next lo rotating at lost it. And this is the motion of our concept. And next, in the following slide, I'd like to explain the mission sequence. And just after launch, 
The main satellite will begin power activation and boot Linux operation systems. For the several minutes, the main satellite will continue housekeeping. And 30, and 30 seconds after launch, tether will be extended and the two satellites will be separated, shown in these figures. Uh, in this point, the target satellite mission will start. And the main satellite camera is waiting for the moment of second separation of the target satellite in this direction. And next, the target satellite cut the sails, so two satellites will be perfectly separated. And the main satellite camera conducts a direct shooting mission uh, with the image processing. Okay, in the last of my uh, presentations, I'd like to talk about the flight results. Um, first launch was conducted successfully thanks to Bob. And although the target satellite separation was conducted successfully, um, but the main function of Linux stopped during the missions. So we couldn't get the sensor data and the camera data. And then the second flight was also conducted successfully thanks to Matt. And because of very strong wind, our concept was found 13 kilometers away from launch point. Maybe this is a new record. And in the second flight, the target satellites uh, our, our intended deployment was occurred just after launch. So maybe this is because of the release impact from the rocket. And even worse, main function of Linux also stopped maybe at the same point of the first flight. This is the most important matter we should slow when we go back to Japan. And this is a movie taken by our council. And this is a release from the rocket. You can see the rocket failing. Next slide is uh, target satellite separation. This is our target satellite, and we can see that the target separation is successfully conducted. Okay, this result brings the last of our presentations. Thank you very much.